and welcome back to Daily Math. Week number nine. Day number three. Uh, we have two thirds times one fourth. Two thirds times one fourth. And I only have two hands in the air. That's so sad. Two times one is two, and two. three times four is twelve. Okay, so two times one is two, three times four is twelve. That and the can be reduced by two, which would make one six. Nice. Divided by two over two gives us one six. Maxine has 4.5 meters of ribbon. She uses 1.75 meters for each bow she makes. Does Maxine have enough ribbon to make three bows? Explain your answer. What? Did you not get the one six for an answer? You didn't. All right, so. Right, so we said 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times 4 is 12. So then we divided the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. Yeah, because you can multiply. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Oh, gotcha. Thanks, Mrs. Paradise. So, yeah, so when you have multiplication, when you have multiplication, you don't need a common denominator. You have to have, when you're doing fractions, your common denominators are when you add or subtract, you need a common denominator. When you're multiplying or dividing, you're not going to need a common denominator. That's a great question. All right. So back to number, do you have a question? Okay, so yeah, you totally could have gotten one-sixth a different way. So the one-sixth you could have, how would you have gotten it? Okay, so my friend said I could cross multiply Miss Richardson. Two divided by two gives me... 1, 4 divided by 2 gives me 2. So I have 1 times 2, which, or 1 times 1, excuse me, which would be 1. And then 3 times 2, which would give me, yep, so that would give me the same answer also. For number 10, okay, perfect, go for it. Right. So there's a couple different ways you could do this. You could say, oh, well, the first one's going to be 1.75. The second one's going to be 1.75. The third one's going to be 1.75. And you can add them. Or what, what some people could have done, some people did, that's the, the way Ms. Richardson looked at it, was 1.75 times 3, <clears throat> which is what our friend suggested. 3 times 5 is 15, carry my 1. 3 times 7 is plus 1 is, tw wait, what? 21 plus 1 is 22, carry my 2. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5. And then my Mr. Osher and her trick was to cover up the decimal, so I have 3 times 1. 3 times 1 gives me... Three, so that the ballpark should be, the decimal should go there. So then the question becomes, does she have enough if she has 4.5 meters? No. no, she doesn't have enough to make all three bows. To find the volume of the figure, how am I going to find the volume of the figure? And I said you find the volume of the figure 
is length times width times height is your volume. Okay. 35. Nicely done. Um, round 83.983 to the nearest whole number. The answer would be 84. So I would look at the nearest whole number, which would be right there. You have to look at the guy next door, which is 9. 9 would bump. All right. Let's do this. Um, grab scrap piece of paper. 